Hey everybody. Well, it's two nights in a row. But that's okay. We're gonna fight through. I'm heading out to Milk. We are um, celebrating a birthday today, so we may actually be heading to the Toledo Zoo. If we do, I will take some video. Well, this is a good sign. She's waiting for me. Hopefully that means yesterday's yesterday morning milking aberration was just that, an aberration. About to find out. Okay, milking went as per normal. Um, but when I went in to milk her, I noticed that the fencer wasn't clicking, it wasn't popping. So, either the new line that I put up, hey, put it. The new line that I put up is shorting the fence, or a bird landed on the fence, and that's shorting it out. I mean, I suppose it's possible that. Um, the battery is out of juice. We've had a lot of cloudy days lately, but I don't know, we've never had that problem before. So I'm going to walk around here quick and see if I can find out if there's an obvious ground someplace. I've got my chief inspector following me around. I think she's more protecting me from bullseye's exuberance than anything else. And uh, I'll let you know what I find. Hey, this right here is very likely the problem. You can see the wire is touching the chicken wire right there. And that is probably grounding it out. So I'm gonna bend this fence back and hopefully that solves the problem. So let's flip it on. If we go to green over here, we're good. As you can see this. There we go. That was the problem. We're back in business. Okay. It was decided that with the things that we need to do today, we didn't get an early enough start to go to the Toledo Zoo. So we're gonna go roller skating later instead. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get the fence around this raised garden and then get the plants planted. And I'm going to do a little bit different design on this one because I was thinking about it and we have some beans and stuff that might like to climb. So what I think I'm gonna do is on this back side here, I'm going to put a row of fence and then I'll wrap around the other three sides. So I'll be able to take off the other three sides so the kids can get to most of it, but that I can make something that's a little bit more sturdy for you know climbing beans or you know stuff like that. So we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Hey, so this garden is pretty much done. And like I said, I did it a little bit differently. So these, see, this post right here, this post right here, and that post right here are all hard and fast on there. This corner post here and here are also um, hard and fast on there. They're drilled into the box. They're not moving anywhere. That one right there, that taller one right there, that's the only one that moves. Um, all the rest of these are just supports to go around. So I can take this, and right now it's actually hooked onto the fence. I'll show you how I've got that hooked on. But I can walk it all the way around so we can get in from these, the three sides here. I think it's gonna work pretty well. For this, I put the screws on this post and I put one up high there and there. And I think I'm gonna change it on the other one and I'm gonna put the screws to hook this onto. I think this is gonna work better having one high, one middle and one low instead of three on the box. I'm not sure what I was thinking about that. So I think this is gonna work well. Um, it should keep the rabbits out. It's close to the house, but we get rabbits right up next to the house. So, but I think it'll work. I think I'm going to go ahead and start planting. I still have a little bit of work to do on both of them, but I want to get these plants in the ground. Like they're good enough now where I can get plants in the ground and feel comfortable that they're going to be safe. And then I can finish everything else up. Like I'm going to bring out the pneumatic stapler just to make sure that everything's tight in where it's supposed to be. But for now, I'm going to get to planting. <music>
have this garden mostly planted. Uh, I put some beans in the back, right along there, and then tomatoes in the middle, and then I've got some zucchini plants in front here. Hold on, I'm trying to hold this with a tripod. Anyway, so, and then I'm gonna put a small row of flowers along the edge and front possibly, just to bring in pollinators. Not that I think we're gonna have a problem with it. Um, the beans in the back row of tomatoes, I forgot to put the biochar in the bottom of the hole when I was planting. So the front two rows of tomatoes, I've added the biochar in the hole. I top dressed the beans in the back row. It'll be a good case study to see if they both work well. Who knows? Hopefully, everything grows well and it's not a you know not an issue. Um, what I probably will end up doing, because of all the tomatoes and the beans, is building some two by four framework to go not only along the back for the beans, but across the front for the tomatoes. Uh, if I put a couple rows of two by fours here and here, I can run strings across them. And then I can just hold up the um, the tomatoes at whatever height I need them. So I'm kind of thinking that's the way, way I might go with that, but only time will tell. is planted fences on we're good to go I'll water it in when I'm done with everything don't tell homestead boy won this but he had said oh dad that's too much dirt and I said well it'll settle I want it pretty close to the top may have put a little bit too much dirt in it may still settle so the jury's still out on this one but I think it's good now we wait I wanted to show you guys this biochar and this is it right here. It kind of looks like topsoil, but it's a lot grainier. And biochar, I'll try to put a link in the description. It's pretty much partially burned wood. Uh, it's wood that's burned in a low oxygen um, environment. So it doesn't burn up, it just chars like this. And if you think about like the forest, you know, forest fires and how they come back so, so well afterwards, I think it's the same kind of thing. This gives plenty of nutrients to all of the plants. So this is the first year I've used it, but I'm, I'm pretty, pretty stoked about it. garden is planted I just watered it in um, and I remember I have these they're onions that went to like sprout so throw them in the garden see if they grow if not no big deal I'll yank them out but I figured I might as well give it a shot if I can find a spot in the garden for them so so the garden is planted and that's great the problem is I still have all of those seeds that I bought from and my gardener and it's stuff that I want planted I want spinach and I want to plant that asparagus that he had and kale and bush beans. So I think the fact that I left this space over here open is going to be fortuitous because I think I need another bed. Just got finished milking. Um, Prudence seems fine. She was absolutely normal today. I'm going to chalk it up to cow morning sickness or just it was earlier than we normally milk. Maybe she was still out of it. You guys have seen how, how out of it I am when I come out to milk. Um, but she seems fine now. Everything is back to normal. So that's good. We've actually got people over right now for a birthday party. So I'm gonna head back inside. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, liking, giving that thumbs up, and uh, commenting. I really appreciate all of those things and it helps the channel out a great deal. So thanks so much. We'll see you guys in the next video. Dad? Dad? Yeah, buddy. Hi, yep.